What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and today we're going to combine a background image with our typography to create an awesome halftone grunge effect. Without further ado, let's dive on in. All right, y'all, go ahead and find yourself an awesome image to work with. I picked this one up over at Envato.com, and I will leave the affiliate link and the exact image name in the description below. Once you have your image selected, go ahead and crop it how you want it. Then go ahead and hit Command U on your keyboard, and that's gonna bring up your hue saturation adjustment. And we're gonna drop the saturation all the way down to create a black and white image. Now let's go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer. So we're going to curves, and then we're going to increase the contrast by creating an S curve. Now, as you can see, we're losing a little bit of detail in the eye and a quick way to remedy that is by creating another curves adjustment layer bumping up the light and then hitting command i on your keyboard to invert the mask then hitting b for your brush tool and painting with white we're just going to paint in a little bit of that eye now we can go ahead and add our type i'm using a helvetica new and then i added a yellow color to it now, as you can see on this image, there's a lot of light be behind the G and the R. So we're gonna go below the type layer, and then we're gonna get hit new layer, and then we're just gonna paint using the brush tool a little bit of black behind the lettering. Now we can go to our type layer, hit new layer, and we're gonna take a snapshot of this entire image by hitting Shift Option Command E. Then we're gonna right click and convert to smart object. Now let's go on over to our filter and then on filter we're going to go down to blur then we're going to Gaussian blur and we're just going to blur it to a 10. Then we're going to filter again and we're going to pixelate and then we're going to go to color halftone. Once you're in color halftone, I usually start at 10, but you can go back and forth until you find something that works better for your particular image. On the channels, I usually leave these at three so that our halftones come in, at, come in at a little bit of an angle. Now, our graphic is looking really cool, but we're gonna take it one step further by going to the filter gallery. But before you do, hit B on your keyboard and then hit D to confirm that your Black is your foreground and white is your background. Now go up to filter, filter gallery, and once you're in filter gallery, we're gonna go to ocean ripple. I like to use this drop down menu because it's a little bit faster than looking for the icons. So go to ocean ripple, and as you can see, it distorts our half tones, making it a little bit more grungy and interesting. So on ripple size, I'm gonna leave that to one, and on magnitude, I'm gonna leave that at one as well. Then I'm gonna hit okay. Now the icing on the cake is to add one more layer of texture. And I picked this texture up over at texturelabs.org. Once you have a cool texture, you can go ahead and change the blending mode, usually to screen. And we have this really cool scratch slash grunge on top of our image. One last thing that you might wanna do is go to your adjustment layers, hue saturation, and if you're not liking the color of your type, you can always use this slider to change it until you get something that is more appealing for your poster or album or whatever you're working on.